Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the sales order. Also, we would go inside the SAP system and see how we create a sales order. Now, if you look at this order to cash process, we have already completed the creation of inquiry in the SAP system. We have also checked the quotation in the SAP system. We have created inquiry and quotation in SAP system. And the next step is to create a sales order. So if we do a recap of what we have done previously, so let's talk about order processing. Now a sales order is a document that captures a request of goods and services from a particular customer. So it includes a lot of information like the information about the goods, the pricing information, delivery information, which has dates and quantities. It has shipment information, shipment route. We also have billing information. And we are going to check all these information, all these tabs inside the SAP system when we actually create a sales order. Please check this data where it shows that you know 74 percent of my viewers are finding value from the videos but they have not subscribed. So I appeal to all the viewers to like, share and subscribe to my channel and please hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification. So to create a sales order, the T code which you have to remember is VA01. So VA01 is the T code so I press VA01. So if you check the following documents like here we have created an inquiry then we created a quotation with respect to inquiry and now when we are creating a sales order we would create a sales order with respect to a quotation so we should have a good quotation so that we could take the reference of the quotation and create a sales order so if i go inside the sap system i would i should have a good quotation so i so i have to enter the order type so the order type is normally or so i can put just or over here and we have to give a good sales organization distribution channel and division and then we have to click on this option create with reference now in create with reference we should have a good quotation so i have a good quotation with me so i will enter the quotation here so i am creating a sales order with respect to this quotation so if i, I copy i will have to uh, copy the delivery so this in this information is confirmation of the quantity so whatever quantity that is one piece i would have to confirm the quantity so i click complete delivery over here and everything from the quotation will be loaded inside this sales order so this is the sold to party and ship to party this is the customer reference number so test 002 and here we have the information about inco terms and sales area if you go into the shipping tab we have information about the loading date, the plant, the, the shipping point. Now, if I go inside the line item, I have the order quantity, the delivery date, the pricing date. If I go to the shipping tab, I have to give a location. So the location from where I will ship the part. So this is the location and this is the plant from where the part would be shipped to the customer. And if I go to the billing document, I could complete the delivery. If I go to conditions, I have a good condition with uh, I have the sales price over here and all the condition types are, are, are there. If I go to order data, I have the customer reference number which I've already given uh, in the previous screen. And then we have uh, additional data A where we have information about uh, the material group. And we can go back to sales tab. We go to edit and click on the incompletion log. So we have to check if the document is complete. So I have a message that the document is complete. So you can see the document is complete here. So once the document is complete, that means that there are no inconsistencies inside the document and I am good to post. So I can post the document. So I click on save. So once I click on save, I have an order number which has been created. So 880 is the order number. I can view the document. Like if I do slash and VA03. So VA03 is the display for sales order. I click here. The last order is already displayed, so I press enter. And then I can see all the information like the quantity, the material, the sold to party and the ship to party. We have the various tabs. The shipping tab is here. And if I go inside the material, I can see the, the dates and uh, the shipping tab. There we have the plant and the storage location. We have schedule lines and we have a confirmed quantity. So it is, this is very important. We should have a confirmed quantity that you know the quantity is is there for the customer so you should have a confirmed quantity 
when you actually save a sales order. So this was a process of creation of sales order. In our next step, you will be completing outbound delivery, pick quantity and post goods issue. So in, in one video, we would be completing all the, all the three steps. So in the next video, we would check the creation of outbound delivery. We would also try to pick the quantity and also do the PGI via VL02M. See you in my next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.